Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome to Chapter 2, Lesson 2 on Lincoln, Lee, and Frederick Douglass. The Civil War is over, and we are now entering Reconstruction, the rebuilding phase, and we're looking at Lincoln, Lee, and Douglass, three important guys during Reconstruction. Uh, I'm joined here, this is Mr. Penka, I'm joined here by... Mr. Canor, and on the other mic doing the color, and... And Mrs. Turner. Hey, all right. Mike's not here today. So we're going to fill in these notes. Reconciliation is the name of the game. Uh, Abraham Lincoln died at the very end of the Civil War. But his big thing was reconciliation. Making up. Playing nice. Getting along. He thought preservation of the Union was much more important than punishing the South. Uh, after he dies, people in the North the Republican Party will kind of take over and decide to punish yes, them anyway. Yes, yes, The reconciliation is much more important than just being mean and nasty to those Southerners. Sorry. Okay. So, next, Robert E. Lee. Robert E. Lee, sure. Take George and Abe and all the famous people, Thomas Jefferson... And I get Robert E. Lee, the Southern leader, the guy who was brilliant, but he went for the wrong team. He urged Southerners to reconcile with Northerners. Same thing as Abe. He wanted them to be good to each other, to be nice. While the Southerners are like, no, 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 let's fight back. Let's like, let's like keep our our flag and stuff on our uh, on our capitals and things. Yeah, and let's not get better. And then. Robert said, well, you know, let's be nice and let's play good. And so he later becomes president of Washington College, which later will be named Washington and Lee. I don't know why they changed it to Lee University, Washington Lee, but there's probably some reason behind that. There probably is some reason behind that. But not for now. On to Frederick Douglass. Do, 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 do. And Miss Turner. Frederick Douglass knew that the gains that the African Americans had gotten by uh, the end of the Civil War, like uh, the abolishment of slavery and the rights that they were starting to get, could easily be taken away if the Constitution didn't guarantee them. So he wanted a constitutional amendment, he wanted a change to the Constitution to guarantee voting rights for all citizens. He was also a powerful voice for human rights and civil liberties for everyone. Civil liberties could be considered your rights as a citizen. You're doing a great job! Awesome, thanks. Your right to be able to vote, your right to be able to walk around town without being harassed, your right to be able to use the water fountain that you want to use or go to the school that you want to go to. The bathroom. Unfortunately, or the bathroom that you want to use. <laughs> Unfortunately, Frederick Douglass was right. He knew that without those guarantees, those rights could be taken away from the African Americans, and we will see in later lessons that they were. So, that's all for uh, this page, except uh, if you want some help with uh, what the left hand page is. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night.